Hey y'all, welcome back. It's your girl Nyjah with another vlog or a new vlog. Um, today I will be running a few errands um, and I want to take you guys all with me. I want to go to the Goodwill, see if I can find little trink trinkets around the house for. Um, I need to go to TJ. No, I need to go to Marshalls to return some things. And I'll So on today's to-do list, we got to go to Goodwill, Marshalls. Um, gotta make some returns to Target too, and I think that's it. I'm really supposed to be on a no buy month, so this is how I'm looking at it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it bug with y'all. The money has already been spent, so therefore, if I'm getting a refund, I'm not technically spending any new money you feel, you, you you see what i'm saying you see what i'm saying so that's why i'm starting at home goods first because uh, what the most i probably spend if anything is ten dollars and i got way more than ten dollars in returns okay at um marshall's alone so i'm on time there so i'm super excited to go check out this um goodwill this is the first time i'm going to this location and um i'm excited to see what they have <laughs> look i sis really want to make coke but that's gonna be more than ten dollars but if i'm feeling froggy and if the price is right and it fits and the bus down is busting down <laughs> we just might have to extend the no buy for another month anyways my quick ootd i have on this i believe this is from zara this zara white bodysuit i have on my um Top Shop Jamie Jeans. These are in the dark wash and they're fringe at the bottom. My new favorite coat slash jacket from ASOS and some sunscreen because I'm trying to give the face a break, give the face a reset, okay? Um, so yeah, so I will be bringing you all with me and hopefully we find some goodies, but nothing too crazy because again, we on a no buy month, so. But let's go see. In the Goodwill. I actually didn't find anything, which, no biggie. Goodwill is a hit and miss. Also, like how you can still go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross, and having one thing in particular in mind, they may have it one day. You come back the next day, it's gone. So, no biggie. Um, now I'm going to check and see if there's like a Marshalls or a Marshalls or a Target nearby where I'm at so that way you know but I'm a little bummed out because it started sprinkling and holding my umbrella and the camera and the this and the that and the person and the phone and the keys and all of that it's just too much for me but I'm gonna make it do what I do so I'll let y'all know where the next stop is so see you soon like on me let me move that out the way um i'm always so like skeptical skeptical about the arm length but it's actually cool um i kind of wish it was a little tighter around here but i really like the graphics on this and again like i said i got some shoes coming through the mail that are gonna match this perfectly um i really wish they had this in a graphic tee i might hold off again you guys i'm returning some so that's why i'm able to get this because again we don't know by but if the money's already been spent it don't count as far as i'm concerned um but this is one of target's black history month sweaters and i think it's dope i really do i like it um i'm gonna look around and see if they have the graphic tee. I've also picked up the extra large, but I feel like that will literally swallow me whole. And the arm length isn't too bad, so I think I can get away with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, hey y'all, hey, I am back. Let me turn that down. Um, I did stop at Target like I showed you guys. I'll show you what I picked up from Target when I get back home. I did make a stop at home because I had to pick up something else before I finished the rest of my errands. I just put up to Marshalls, AKA Marshalls. So um, again, I'm gonna do some um, returns. I may exchange, 
um, some items for some candles. I'm very low on candles. I will burn a candle 24 hours if I'm in the house all day and then have the nerve to have three going at the same time. So if anything, I'll be exchanging the items that I've picked up already for some um, candles. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope they have this um, one in particular in stock so I can show y'all. Baby, that thing is giving what it's supposed to be given. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I picked up from Trader Joe's. I really like to get my flowers from Trader Joe's. Look how beautiful these are. And you guys, these are only um, $12.99. So, like, <laughs> yes. And, ooh, it's heavy. Okay, so I really enjoy these plantain chips. These are the jerk style plantain chips. So, I got three bags i like to eat them by their i like to eat them by themselves or with this um dip that i actually didn't pick up this time because i need to eat better so three bags of that just to give me something to snack on i got their um organic tea and lemonade which is really good i enjoy oh was that beat up or did i beat it up in the car i'm gonna say i beat it up in the car um i got some oranges I didn't realize they were seedless. My bad. I slipped up there. I got um, four bananas. Because something about having granola, bananas, and some yogurt right now just sounds so good to me right now. Even though I'm like finicky with my yogurt. Something about that just sounds really good to me right now. <laughs> Hopefully by the time those are ripe, I'll be ready to eat some yogurt again. Um, I got three of these um mushroom and black truffle with mozzarella cheese whoo y'all they're flatbreads they're so good i put these in the toaster oven and then when i'm feeling real spam when i'm feeling blah, 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 when i'm feeling when i'm feeling when i'm feeling when i'm feeling when i'm feeling, when I'm feeling real fancy and i like to top it off with my black truffle oil that I got from like Marshalls for like $4.99. Baby, don't say I ain't warned you. Now let me, hold on now. Now half the size of the pizza is 128 grams and 360 calories. So the whole container is 720 calories. So just, you know, keep that in mind. I also bought some lemons. I bought one avocado because this was a dollar twenty-nine just for this one. And I need to do better. I cannot stand when I buy avocados and I don't use them all and they go to waste. Like that should be a crime. As much as I love avocados. I got two different popcorns. I got the organic popcorn with organic extra virgin olive oil. This popcorn is so good, y'all. To me, it's really addicting. And then I don't know if I've ever had the movie theater popcorn. Um, buttery popcorn, perfect for movie night at, or any time. So I got this. I, I'm, I, I might go to the movie small and put a little bit in one of my little sandwich beds. And um, yeah. <laughs> I also picked up some chicken and cheese tamales from Trader Joe's. These are really good. Yes. I picked up some organic strawberry lemonade. Now, as I mentioned earlier, my favorite juice 
um, actually comes from Trader Joe's. It's the watermelon one. It is currently out of stock because it is seasonal, but I do have some because I be stocking up on it. And I'm so sad it's like my last one that I got to wait till the summer. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is the watermelon cucumber. I might have said, might have said what was in it earlier. Um, might have said watermelon and something else, but it's watermelon and cucumber, y'all. It's just so good. It's delicious by itself. I just, you know, shake it up a bit. It's delicious with some tequila. You ain't heard that from me. Um, so good. So good. So good. It's so good. Ten out of ten stars. Highly recommend. We should write Trader Joe's a letter to corporate and tell them that we want that to be something that's always in stock not just for the summer um okay so i really like cooking with these crushed garlic cubes apparently one car one little cube is equivalent to one garlic one garlic clove so i um keep these in the freezer and just you know pop them out when i need them i got some vegetable fried rice this is just something quick and easy to make at home um just like with those pizzas and those tamales okay i also picked up some organic free range chicken um boneless skinless thighs from trader joe's i picked up some ooh, ground chicken I don't know, I'm, I feel like I haven't made like pasta in a while, so I might make that tomorrow. Um, I just have to go pick up some, um, pick up some sauce. I got these turkey thighs chopped and formed uncured turkey bacon from Trader Joe's. I've never tried this bread before, but I mean, it's turkey bacon, so it's cute. <laughs> It can only hit so much as far as I'm concerned. You feel me? Um, with all that, I spent $89, which isn't too bad. Um, speaking on the topic of pasta that I may make tomorrow, I want to show you guys the noodles that I like to use. I get these noodles from Ralph's. These are the pasta cauliflower um, noodles uh, from Veggie Craft. You guys, when I tell you, I cannot tell the difference of these being cauliflower or just any regular type of pasta noodles. Baby, I'm just trying to make healthier choices. Oh, excuse me. Um, because health is wealth, so remember that. So I should probably set this out so I can remember that I need to go pick up the pasta tomorrow, pasta sauce tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make that salmon again tonight. Um, I know I didn't show y'all the finishing touch. When I tell you I was so hungry, I was so hungry last night, so hungry. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna make that again. I would have had leftovers, but the salmon that I had just picked up yesterday from Ralph's uh, wasn't thawed out yet. So I made sure I thawed out two today. So that way, you know, I can have one for dinner tonight, one for lunch tomorrow, and then I'm have that pasta for dinner. And that's it. So yeah, guys. Oh, hold that thought. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Marshalls from the no buy and exchange and stuff. Hold on. Okay, so I don't. I think I was telling y'all about the um, candles there that I really like, um, and I think I showed you guys in the video as well. And I also showed you these candlesticks. So this was $9.99, and again, guys, I just went ahead and exchanged some stuff. So you know, as far as I'm concerned, I am really spending money. But and then I was able to pick up another one of those candles. Um, this stuff was returns to TJ Maxx, but for some reason, I could not find my receipt. I always get my receipts from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods printed as well as emailed to me because, baby, I'm going to get my return one way or another. Okay, stink the bank. Um, and then they have the nerve to give me issues and... Marshall's will return to my home goods items because she was saying um basically she told me no 
And then when I went to Home Goods, the lady was like, you know, because the coding is different on the ticket, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So what I said about making your returns and on the place, scratch that, y'all, because clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. But I did want to show you guys the candle. I'm so happy with this candle. So this is the Mahogany Apple. Um, it has apple, forest, fear, fur, fur, fire, fur, fear, and musk. <laughs> by the sensational brand and I really like that it has the um wooden wick it has two wooden wicks so what if you guys are new into getting into candles wooden wicks like make that crackling sound when they're when they're lit so it gives you that extra like homey feel and then kind of flicker like when they're um when they're lit as well so that to me is just oh it makes the place feel even more homier than than it already is i gotta clean up my place and then i can show you a bit more in it um show you what it looks like lit this candle was 14.99 from marshall's marshall's baby marshall's for those of y'all don't think i know what i'm talking about um and so yeah i bought this to for the candle to sit on top of hopefully i like looks once I set that up and then last but not least I've been wanting a new throw for my bedroom and I found this one so this is by Rachel Roy um silk soft blanket no I'm sorry silky soft blanket uh the reason why I wanted to go with this one because it says full queen lit um and it's a 90 by 90 inches. So I feel like this is supposed to like cover the whole size of my bed. I ripped that when I was trying to pull it out. And it's white and it was only $19.99 guys. Like I have been on a mission trying to find the perfect length of throw blankets to go over my bed because I just, you know, instead of me buying a whole new duvet and a whole new comforter, why not just switch out the pieces and then start from there? Switch out little pieces. Pieces that's only gonna cost me twenty dollars, and that whole eighty dollars to buy a whole new. I, I, I don't have space to be storing items and stuff like that, so I'm really hoping that this works. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I just hope it's not too long. So fingers crossed. But that is it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up for today. And yeah, I'll touch back in. Um, maybe like when I get start cooking dinner and whatnot, and you know, start putting the candles and you know, doing what I do best. Okay, ladies, all right, I'll see you shortly. I am going to be making salmon tonight for dinner, and I just like to, oops, let me focus now. I just like to um, throw everything in the oven, the vegetables, salmon, seasons, and call it a day, so. Okay, so I got two bags of frozen broccoli. I got a bag of spinach which I'm really irritated about because they were all out of my eggs. I know we just had the holidays, but when y'all gonna stock up? So now I got spinach to go with my eggs for breakfast in the morning, but I ain't got no eggs. Okay, I got some great tomatoes. You guys, I could live off of mushrooms, okay? That's why I bought this huge size. I like to put mushrooms in my salmon that I'm making tonight for dinner. I like to put mushrooms in my eggs. I'm a mushroom onions girl. Put that on anything. I'm devouring it. Okay. <laughs> I also bought these mini sweet peppers. This is going to go with my salmon as well. So I'm going to do salmon, the mini peppers, mushrooms, the tomatoes. I'm going to add the tomatoes this time. Hopefully they don't come out too squishy. Um, and I bought some string beans that I'm going to put with the salmon as well. I'm really hungry, so I don't know if this is just me being greedy, but I'm constantly on adding another bag of broccoli in that or adding a bag of broccoli with that. Um, I also bought a lemon. The lemon goes on top of the salmon. I sliced up the lemon on uh, the pieces of salmon. This is the wild caught pink. This is the wild caught pink salmon that I picked up. And I also picked up some chili garlic sauce for when I make my, um, oh, is it focusing on? 
I don't think it's focusing. Apologies in advance. I also picked up the gar the chili garlic sauce from Ralph's that I like to add this when I eat my um wontons from Trader Joe's. And then I bought some ooh, some fresh garlic and a red onion to go with my salmon tonight so i'm super excited and i will prop that up so y'all can see how i make it it's super easy and basically i just throw all the seasonings in my cabinet in my can i just throw all the seasonings on there with some olive oil actually i use avocado oil whatever and put it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes chef's kiss Okay, be right back. Clearly, I forgot to show y'all the steps that I took, but if you can see underneath, I've added my veggies, the tomatoes, the um, peppers that I was talking about. There's garlic, mushrooms, the green beans underneath, red onions, and I think that's it. I seasoned the vegetables already, and I was in the process of seasoning the salmon, and then I remembered. <laughs> I didn't even tell y'all everything that I added. Basically, I just mix, again, like I said, everything I have in my cabinets, of course not the orange, and then in my cabinets as far as seasoning, throw it all in there. I'm gonna chop up the onion, add up this last piece of garlic and put it on top, um, some thin slices of butter, and that's it, that's all y'all. Bon appetit.